Hey writers, how are you today? I hope you're excited to explore your imagination and begin to think of those small moment stories that will help you write really strong, realistic fiction. Remember, realistic fiction is a story that could possibly happen that you make up. So, I want to show you what I mean about these small moments helping us create some realistic fiction and we're going to keep it as a actual story um, that is our small moment um, and we're going to look at writing these ideas down in an organizer or a story map um, and the nice thing about a story map is that they can be bulleted to help you draft your paragraph or two story that you're going to create so i'm going to think of my small moment um, I remember that time I felt that really strong emotion when I received my Nintendo 64 for Christmas. And I'm going to think about telling it bit by bit, remembering in the back of my mind, and looking at possible ideas that will help me think of fiction. So, writers, let's get to work. Let's look here. I have a story map for you. The first um, part of that story map is the introductory sentence. Um, and this is where you paint the picture or you describe the setting or where and when that moment happened in your small moment. So I know Zoe picked spending some time with Amy, her sister. Maybe she tells, tells us where that was. Maybe it was in her basement or outside in her backyard and what they were doing. Dalton talked about a great time when he was with his grandmother at Hershey Park. So this is where you would start that. So we know from my story that you've already seen the final narrative. Um, this was, I was at my house, this is the setting, on Christmas Day. Remember, setting is where and when. And that would be really great. I would say maybe my living room next to the Christmas tree. And then my last one for here, I'm going to say maybe my eyes were staring at the presents. So the next step in this story map to help you organize and tell your personal moment, your small moment, would be to set the stage. So describe who were the people involved and what happened. So if you recall from my story, there was my grandfather, my brothers and sister, my mom, and you didn't know this one, my stepdad, Al. And what happened? So remember, we were opening presents on Christmas day um and the big part here my small moment is i really wanted a nintendo 64. now think about how i felt and why in my small moment story let the reader know the emotions you felt during that moment. We can't get inside your head and your heart as readers. And you as the writer need to let us know. So I'm going to describe how I felt and why. Um, remember I worked really, really hard um, to possibly get that as one of my Christmas presents. So I'm going to put that um, I worked really hard listening to my teachers and parents. Um, I didn't fight with my brother and sisters. Um, I really wanted the Nintendo 64. Oops, I spelled Nintendo wrong. Um, I, I was excited to see my presence. So that was that feeling part there. So if you look back, the first part of our personal small moment narrative, we're introducing it, we're painting the picture. 
Tell us the setting. Don't just start writing what happened. Describe it. Think of it as a blank piece of paper that you're going to tell me what's going on in there. That's a good cue for you there. Then set the stage. stage. Talk about who were, in, who were the people involved and what happened. Then tell us how you felt in that moment and why. So I felt excited and I was excited because I worked really hard and I really wanted to get this awesome Nintendo 64. And then in the end, close it up. Tell us how it finished. In my story, I, after opening all of my presents, I was disappointed that I didn't, I did not, I should say, did not receive my N64, but then my grandfather, if you remember I called him my pap, came in with another present. It was my Nintendo 64. I can take this story map and I can create a solid one or two paragraphs that describes my small moment. From there, we're going to use that small moment to think of other situations that you could create a whole new story about, a whole new cast of characters in your imagination that drew inspiration, just like um, Charlotte's Web and E.B. White. When he looked at that spider sitting on that haystack, he thought of this whole elaborate story about these characters, Charlotte and Penny and Wilbur. You can do the same thing by drawing from your small moment. So thank you, writers. This organizer is going to be in your writer's notebook. I'll have the link in the next slide. I'd like you to start working on that today with my help and assistance.